Shoulder. Resisted muscle strength. Anatomical movement. Shoulder joint resisted adduction. Downward movement of humerus medially toward the body. An abduction. Upward lateral movement of humerus, away from the body, in the plane of the scapula. Testing position. Patient is standing or seated with the shoulders at 30 degrees of abduction. Elbows at 90 degrees of flexion and forearms in the neutral position. Examiner's hands rest at lateral epicondyles first to check resisted arm abduction and on medial epicondyles next. To check resisted adduction. Expected findings. Patient should maintain an end point range against maximum resistance to satisfy grade 5 normal muscle criteria. Anatomical movement. Shoulder joint resisted flexion. The movement of humerus straight anteriorly, and extension. The movement of humerus straight posteriorly. Testing position. Patient is standing or seated with the shoulder adducted by the body midline. Elbow at 90 degrees of flexion and forearm in the neutral position. Examiner's hand rests at elbow flexion crease first. To check resisted arm flexion. And on posterior aspect of the distal humerus next. To check resisted extension. Expected findings. Patient should maintain an end point range against maximum resistance to satisfy grade 5 normal muscle criteria. Anatomical movement. Shoulder joint resisted external and internal rotation. The movement of humerus laterally and medially around its long axis. Away or toward the midline. Testing position. Patient is standing or seated with the shoulder adducted by the body midline. Elbow at 90 degrees of flexion and forearm in the neutral position. One hand supports the patient's elbow, the other hand applies resistance on the dorsum of the patient's hand first, and afterwards on the patient's palm. Expected findings. Patient should maintain an end point range against maximum resistance to satisfy grade 5 normal muscle criteria. Anatomical movement. Shoulder resisted elevation and depression. Testing position. Patient is standing or seated with the arms parallel to the midline of the body. Examiner's hands rest at shoulders first to check resisted shoulder elevation. Next patient is asked to elevate the shoulders. Examiner's hands support patient's elbows to check resisted shoulder depression. Expected findings. Patient should maintain an end point range against maximum resistance to satisfy grade 5 normal muscle criteria. Anatomical movement. Shoulder resisted protraction and retraction. Transverse flexion and extension. Testing position. Patient is standing or seated with the arms parallel to the midline of the body. Examiner's hands grasp patient's shoulders to resist active shoulder horizontal adduction toward the chest and horizontal abduction away from the chest. Expected findings. Patient should maintain an end point range against maximum resistance to satisfy grade 5 normal muscle criteria. 